Hey guys, I hope that all is well. Hope that you all are having a, a somewhat peaceful day with all the things that are happening, all the things that are going on in the United States of America and all around the world, that you can find some sense of peace. There's a question that the Bible asks and it says, Will I find faith when I come? It also says, Who shall be able to stand? This is something that we as believers and those that are seeking that I hope that have increased faith and they're not still seeking because we definitely don't have time for that. We can't be one foot in and one foot out and lukewarm. We got to go all the way or no way. And so it asks, will he find faith? And with all of the tests and trials that we will face, will he find faith? I mean... This political environment is so toxic, it, it ain't even funny what's happening. And it's like all of the people that hated other people for the color of their skin, for whatever reason, we know that it's deeper than the color of the skin. They are really coming out of the woodworks now. And they're not holding back anything. I literally saw a video yesterday where they were having a, a parade, a boat parade. And they were literally chanting, kill all N-words and all J-E-W-S's. <laughs> and then you have people coming on here saying stuff about there is no racism in America, which we know is crazy. And saying all kind of things like, judgment is not coming upon certain areas that have this hate for other people for no reason like literally no reason so you're saying that people can be rebellious they could be sinful they could do whatever they want they can kill innocent people take lives do whatever they want and you literally believe no judgment is going to come on them you literally want people to say that this is not the most i hand at work with using his nature against man who is unrepentant even if he's using a machine like so many people are coming on saying stuff is being made he literally uses man to do his will I mean we do know that right he literally uses whomever he wants to do his will whether it's good to you or if it's wicked to you. It, the Bible says that the Most High is over the good and the evil. He will use whoever he wants. If your heart is wicked, then he's going to use you for wickedness. Anyway, just read the Bible if you don't understand what that means. Get an understanding. <clears throat> but he's definitely not going to allow any of us. I don't care what nation you are, what race you are, what skin color you are. You're not going to be able to do whatever you want to do kill who you want to kill say what you want to say do what you want to do and there's not going to be any consequences i think people have gotten so comfortable with sin because nothing happened to them right away you know they just sin and sin and sin and the most high just you know kept giving you chance excuse the airplane y'all i'm sorry keeps giving us opportunity whoa look at that plane y'all gives us opportunity to repent well he says the time is going to come where he's not going to wink on sin anymore i mean now you you sin and you're going to pay for it so you know and we know that the 400 years that our people my people served here is up that time is up and so he says that there were people whose eyes were closed and once the gentiles time is finished their eyes are going to be opened. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. It's not going to stop the hand of the Most High. He is going to pour out his wrath upon a disobedient nation, regardless if we believe or not. It doesn't matter. And it also doesn't matter if you're black or white or whatever. You know the Bible doesn't go by that anyway. I'm not black. I'm brown. And white people are not white like a piece of paper. So I don't know where the black and white and all that stuff we came from anyway but nevertheless you know here we are it's race it's based on race 
And so the Most High isn't going to care about that when he brings his judgment. He just He's just going to go by unrepentant people. That's what it's going to be. So the most important thing right now is to repent, to pray, and to prepare. I've had many people come on here and tell me they are not going to repent. <laughs> hey, that's you. Over here, we're going to serve the Most High Yah. We're going to serve the Most High Yah of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we're going to repent daily. Psalms 51, if you don't know what words to say. Because we know that he is going to judge the sinful and the wickedness, those who don't repent and those who don't turn from their wickedness. So with that being said, I hope that you're not being distracted by this, whatever this is with this presidency, with this P. Diddy stuff, with all of these things that's happening that's distracting you from repenting. I hope that you will drop down to your knees and repent and turn because judgment is going to continue to be poured out regardless if people want to accept that or not and say that it's not the most high that's bringing judgment. That's up to you, but it's not going to change the fact that things are going to continue to happen like birth pains and it's going to get stronger and harder every day. So I'm going to keep reminding those who want to hear. And if you don't want to hear, pass the message up. But anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you repent, pray, and prepare.